What's up everybody, it's your boy me. I forgot to mention last video, I have school yesterday. Um, it was good, we worked on some laptops. Um, we worked on a specific model of ThinkPad, which I think was a little bit before the current model of ThinkPad that I use. Um, I use a T480, but we're using like a T540P or something. Um, and it was one of the ThinkPad models that had come out uh, about after Lenovo had bought them, I think. Um, and uh, they removed the physical buttons above the trackpad and everybody's really mad. Um, and so, you know, we were doing repairs and stuff on laptops. What is happening? This is actually bad enough for me to pause my video. One sec. Okay, that's a little better. I don't know what's up with my hair. It's like going up, which is weird because I never made it go up here, but Anyway, um, God, that is so ugly. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so we were working on laptops, and uh, not only did Lenovo um, make the trackpad stupid and make it like way harder to use the track point um, on that series of ThinkPads, but they also made the screen way harder to replace. Um, so our first laptop was like this old Dell laptop, and we were able to take out the hard drive, the RAM, the keyboard, all super easy stuff. And it was a Dell Latitude series laptop, which um, I have three of just up there, um, which I, and I've worked on them before and I kind of I kind of know how they work. Um, so that was actually really nice. Um, uh, but then we were like, okay, well, for the next one, we should just do a screen replacement because screen replacements, well, I, I, I knew that screen replacements tend to be one of the longer uh, processes that you could do on a laptop. Um, and it's all pretty easy, but like, you know, it's one of the more difficult things you can do. Um, and so we uh, took it out and it had these stupid, it was like these bars on the side and the this display was like screwed into these bars on the side of the monitor, but like the chassis, like the plastic chassis of the laptop was like kind of in the way. So you had to like put your uh, screwdriver in and like do it against the chassis. It was irritating. Um, but you know, finally we were able to bring the laptop screen down and we were looking at the ribbon cable and I said, do not touch. And that was a little spooky because you know, I don't know, it was very insistent that we do not touch this screen, which is weird because, I don't know, if somebody is competent enough to get into the screen of their laptop, I'm sure that they're probably qualified enough to touch it. That's that's all I'm saying. Uh, but it was really weird. It had like a PCB on it, and it was like a whole bunch of tape. There was like tape everywhere. Um, and the ribbon cable was taped down up against the monitor, and also there was glue. Um, connecting the ribbon cable to the display. And so we kept trying to take out the ribbon cable and it wouldn't budge. And I was very spooked. I've had some experience with ribbon cables on Dell Latitude laptops um, where they're just like extremely fragile and I've had one break on me and that sucked. Um, and so I was very spooked by this ribbon cable. And my lab partner, he has a little less experience with ribbon cables and frankly, I probably had a bad experience, I think like I had a rather unique experience with this riff with the ribbon cable that broke, um, but he hadn't had as much as experience as me, and so he was like pretty confident in his um, uh, ribbon cable stuff. Also, the the test out stuff for the class, like that we're supposed to look at before we do the class. Some of that stuff I had skipped because it was like how to do a screen replacement on a laptop. And I was like, I, you know, I know how to do that. I, I know how to do a screen replacement. Um, and you know, I do, right? And we we did end up doing one, but um, anyway, it was just, yeah. So he, he was also confident because he had watched that video. So he had just seen someone do a screen replacement on a laptop, but of course they're all different. Anyway, um, yeah, we ended up getting the screen out, but. God, I'm happy that newer ThinkPads have screens that are easier to take out, at least with the T480. Um, I don't know about other ThinkPads. Uh, you know, I played a little bit of Terraria today. I love Terraria. Um, I mean, there you go. Uh, yeah, so right now, um, whoa, the game's a little... Something interesting about Terraria is it doesn't really like free... Oh, that's weird, okay. Oh, there you go. Something interesting about Terraria is it doesn't really lag, it just sort of slows down whenever uh, it's messing up. But yeah, since I'm recording, the everything's sort of slow right now. But um, I want to show you guys how the uh, separation of my evil biomes is going uh, since I'm pre-hard mode. 
I've separated this evil biome out into this little rectangle, which I'm really happy about. Um, we, have, I have these really big um, uh, holes. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they're nine blocks wide, which um, I, you know, I don't know exactly what their measurements were. And whenever I tried to do research online, I kept getting conflicting information. Um, and I think it's sort of dependent on the biome, but it seemed like the maximum it could possibly reach was nine blocks. And so I just went for that. Um, and then here, horizontal, I, I think it's like seven blocks. Um, and I think, I don't know, if any of you are experts on evil biome world spread, um, you could tell me if this is like sufficient, but um, it, it seems like it. So I've done this here. Um, and then I did this here. My plan originally was to have like five horizontal lines across the hole, like around down each evil biome, but that ended up being a lot of trouble. That's why there's this one that just obviously goes straight through the crimson. Um, it's just because I wanted it to be like evenly spaced, but that ended up not really, <laughs> that, was just, that was just a stupid idea of mine. Um, but yeah, it's just able to do one here and I'm gonna do one here and uh, one one here, and that's the plan. Um, yeah, it's really cool. I really like Terraria. Let me go back home. Yeah, okay, let me go back home. Um, here's my stuff. I don't really know what's changed since the last time I showed you guys, but I do have um, a teleportation to the Shimmer now. I don't know what's up with this. Whenever I show up at the Shimmer, it um, all my lights are out, like I have a fireplace here and I have a peace candle here, and whenever I come back I have to like turn it on. And I don't know why it automatically turns off, but yeah, shimmers are really, really, it's probably my favorite mechanic in Terraria, and it's just, it's very, very, very cool. Um, I've also got all this stuff up here, I've got banners up here, and you know, um, yeah, shimmers really cool. And yeah, you can see my little thing here. Something really irritating is I was digging this and digging this and digging this and digging this until I got like here and I was like, man, where's the shimmer? And so I looked at the wiki, I looked at the uh, little equation you do depending on the name of your, uh, the guide of your world. Um, it's like apparently correlated to like where the shimmer is. Um, so it was like, oh, it's here. So I dug down and then it was like, like I was already here and I was like, oh, where's the shimmer? And I dug down and I got to here. But if I had just kept digging, I would have gotten to it. So I should have just done that. Um, but you know, what can you do? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Nothing else is really going on. Um, I'm really happy with this tel teleporter setup, even though I've probably put upwards of like three platinum into it altogether, which uh, sort of sucks. Um, I know if I put this person in the right biome, I would get a discount, but I don't know. I guess I'm just, I'm bad at the game, uh, so I don't do that. Um, oh god, and that's still there. Ah, ah, okay, let me fix that right now. Um, hold on, let me, let me deposit all my stuff into here. Uh, okay. God, see, the problem is that this lava is here when it's not supposed to be. Because I tried picking it up with a bucket and it won't pick up. Look. Look at this. Look, it won't... It won't pick up. So I think I'm going to get some water. You know, there's just some water down here. I think I'm going to get some water. And then I'm going to... Try and, like... Make it into obsidian. Shemp, the clumsy slime, is left. Oh no. Is there a town pet that I missed out on? That's okay. That sucks. Um, maybe, okay, maybe get a little bit of dirt or something. And then... Well, now there's just water here. Why can't I pick this up? Could I just, like... This is the stupidest thing in the world. Okay, sure, sure, okay, yeah, sure. Um, I also mowed this lawn because I got the golfer, and so now I have super reduced spawn rates, um, which is nice. Where's the clumsy slime, is that you? Sli Slimators, slime four. Oh, is that you? 
Oh, it is. Hi. Am I supposed to pet you? So you become part of my house? Okay. I don't really know how the slime pet thing works. Um, So stupid. Does this still work? Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. I'm happy about this. God, this was annoying having to... God, let me just show you guys. Um, this was like genuinely a terrible, terrible gauntlet. This was a terrible, terrible gauntlet. Um, what's that? Uh, yeah, so there was this whole pool of water, right? Um, and I didn't really want it to drain into the, um, there's this whole pool of water and I didn't want it to drain into the dungeon. And so I redirected the water into this gigantic pool here. Um, and I think I also do it down, oh God. Yeah, this is where, this is where it got really bad. Hold on, let me, let me go down here and show you guys. Cause this is where it gets terrible. Oh, you know what? I have to go in through here. Hey man. Um, yeah, look at this. I had to redirect all of the water to be like just above the dungeon and it was terrible because all of these mages kept coming over and like were messing with me. God, this was so terrible. This was like the most difficult thing I've done in this game, this water redirection project. I felt like I was doing water works or something, like I was part of a consulting company. Like it was terrible. Like this whole thing, this was the worst thing in the world and I have all these air pockets up here and I kept having to deal with these cursed skulls and they kept cursing my items so I couldn't like, oh my God, and these casters were showing up. You could just imagine how terrible this is. This was for real the worst thing I've ever done in the game, but it's good now because now this, I'm protected. I've protected this tiny little strip of land. So, you know, oh my God, no, this is, I'm just going back. This is the stupidest thing ever. Um, but yeah, how much money do I have? I have a pretty decent amount of money. Okay. Um, yeah, nothing else is really going on. That's pretty much it. I've separated out the evil biomes. Um, now I'm doing the horizontal stuff. And I've just got, I've looked at most of hell, so that's cool. I only have this little bit to explore. Um, and the only reason why I haven't is because there's no really easy way to access it. Because here I can just access it, but like from here, like it's hard, you know. Um, but yeah, um, I hope everybody has a good day. And yeah, see you, dude.